parts of an isosceles triangle. Uh, the two congruent sides are called legs. So that's going to be um, AB. Side AB is congruent to BC, right? These lines, one line here, one line here, I mean, those two sides are congruent, okay? Uh, the angle where the legs intersect is called the vertex angle. That's gonna be angle one. The side opposite the vertex angle, that's this side, that's gonna be called the base, <clears throat> AC. Then the angles along the base These two angles are called the base angles, angle two and angle three, okay? So those are the base angles. <clears throat> and there's a theorem and it relates the sides to the angles. Notice how this side, AB, has an opposite angle. Its opposite angle is three. And then this side, BC, has an opposite angle and its opposite angle is angle two. Well, the theorem relates to that, okay? The theorem is if AB is congruent to BC, then Angle A is congruent to angle C. And that is, I'm first given that the sides are congruent, and then you say the angles are congruent. The converse means it's just reverse, it's flipped. I'm gonna get a little bit bigger on there. Okay, it's flipped. So that means that I'm first gonna have Angle A is congruent to angle C. Then AB is congruent to BC. Angles first and then the sides. So I've got congruent sides, two of them, and I've got congruent base angles, all right? It's so like this angle here and this angle here, they're the same size. So what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go through one, two, and three, and we're gonna talk about that. If you guys wanna volunteer and help me, that'd be great. I will gladly accept your help, obviously. So, <clears throat> Angle J is my first unknown, okay? So what's angle J? 68. It also is 68, you're right. 68 degrees. Now, angle K, okay, all three angles in a triangle add up to 180. So I've got, 68 plus 68. So this whole works, you guys are gonna need a calculator. So go ahead and you can do that, use one. So that's 136. Now I have a missing side, an unknown, the top angle. So what's the top angle? Volunteer. The whole thing adds up to 180. 44. Oscar, sorry, I'm calling on people who raise their hands, Oscar. 44 degrees. 44 degrees. <clears throat> Perfect. Number two. Okay. Angle C. I don't know. But I do know that the vertex angle is 106. And the other two must equal each other. You know? C and E must equal each other. Call 
Connor, what do you think about uh, C? Uh, 36 degrees. Oh, so close. Like, uh, so. 37? Yeah. Sorry. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, great. Now I know that these base angles are 77. Right? So 77 plus 77. Then I need to actually figure out why, angle Y. So um, 77 plus 77 is 154. What's angle Y? 180 minus 154. David. 26. 26 degrees. Cool. Logan, if Y's X is 12, what must Y Z be because they're congruent sides? 12. 12, exactly. Very good. Now, Four, five, six, and seven are all talking about isosceles triangles still. So I need to solve for X in these cases. A lot of times they're gonna be equal to each other. I mean, check this out. These two are base angles. They're equal to each other. Um, five X plus nine equals, you set them equal to each other because they're the base angles and base angles are congruent in an isosceles triangle. So you're gonna work it out, you know, like, I don't know, subtract five X. I can do two steps at a time, watch this. Add 30, 39 equals three X. That'd be like the two step at a time. Divide three by both sides, 13 equals X. So that's good. Number five, base angles, same issue. Set them equal to each other. Four X plus seven equals nine X minus 33. Subtract four X. Move the 33 to the left. 40 equals 5x. <clears throat> X equals 8. Does this seem pretty easy, you guys? Lastly, number six. Okay. If I know that the base, this means that the base angles are congruent. This is like the converse of the isosceles triangle theorem. The base angles are congruent, which means the opposite sides are congruent. 15 X plus seven equals 23 X minus 17. Solve it out. Anyways, 24 equals 8x. x equals 3. It's not even asking us how long the sides are. It's just saying find the variable. 7, same thing. Set the two equal to each other. Anyways, you work it out. Da, da, da. x equals 16. Okay. Seem doable? Okay. Let's go to the back.
All right. Now I'm finding sides and angles, but I don't even know what the triangle looks like. So let's be really careful with this. If RT is congruent to ST, those must be the isosceles sides, like the two sides. So RT and ST, they both have a T in them, which means T is the common corner, the vertex. RT and ST. Okay. Now, angle R, so I have to like carefully put this in. Angle R is 9x plus 2. Angle S is 13x minus 18. Angle T is 17x plus 1. Find x and the measure of each angle. Someone help me, how would I set this up? What are your thoughts on that? Setting this up. No one, huh? Oh, um, I already heard from you, Logan. Kenneth, I hear from the same people every day. I need to change it up, guys. Kenneth, go ahead, what would I do? Can't hear you. Uh, you would um, set uh, 9x plus 2 equal to uh, 13x plus 18 or minus 18. Yeah. Okay, this is easy for you guys. Get the x's together, get the 18 and two together. 20 equals four x. X equals five. Okay. So that's what x equals five. Then I'm gonna start plugging things in. Obviously, r and s are gonna be the same size. So I can do like nine times five plus two, 45 plus two, 47. r and s are both 47 degrees, right? T is, okay, you guys, well, what's 180? Minus 47 plus 47 is 94, I believe, right? 94, yeah. 180 minus 94, 86. So I'm drawing the triangle based on the information I'm given. And it's really important that you draw it correctly, you know, obviously. Triangle DEF, D and E are congruent. That means that D and E are the base angles. That means that F is on top. These sides are the congruent sides. Four X minus eight is equal to seven X minus 35. Okay. Get the X's together, get the 35 and the eight together. Um, 27 equals three X, X equals nine. Okay. I'm not gonna do 10, it's all the same. Oh, I didn't finish number nine. 
I have to find the actual size of the sides, the lengths. So DE is the base, that's X plus four. Okay, what's nine plus four, guys? Nine plus four, 13. I'll put that over on the side, nine plus four. EF and DF, um, I'll just do, I could do like four times nine, wait, hold on, sorry, four times nine minus eight, four X minus eight. I'll do it next to the side that I'm trying to find. That would be good. 45 minus eight. Right, 4x minus 8. Oh, 36 minus 8. 20, I'm sorry, guys. I'm saying the wrong numbers. Well, 28 degrees. Okay. Moving on to equilateral triangles. Sorry, I'll keep it visible in case you want to see it still. So. Moving on to equilateral triangles. 11, 12, and 13. So on 11, angle C, equilateral triangles, guys. Um, measure of angle A equals measure of angle B equals measure of angle C. All of the angles are the same. A, B, the sides then equal the same. B, C equals C, A. If the angles are all the same, the sides are all the same. A, B equals B, C equals A, C. So this is now like the converse. Then the angles are equal. This is if I know the angles are equal, then I can say that the sides are equal. If I know that the sides are equal, then I know the angles are equal. Okay. Ah. Good. So 11, 12, and 13, are gonna be like, well, everything's equal. When I have three angles in a triangle and all of the angles are equal, all of the angles are 60 degrees. 60, 60, 60, right? So that means that on number 11, the measure of angle C is 60 degrees. And if one of the sides is nine, all of the sides are nine. Easy, easy. On number 12, all the sides must be 24, right? They didn't even ask us what the sides were. They wanna know what the angles are. J and K and L, they're all 60. Yay. Okay, now I've got 13. PQR is an equilateral triangle. All the sides are equal. Solve for X and Y. Well, the Y's are the sides. So I'm gonna do the sides first. Nine Y plus one equals 11 Y minus 23. Work it out. 24 equals two Y. Y is 12. And then it says, so that's Y. And then I need to find X. X is the angle measurement there, which is seven X minus three. I know that all these angles are 60 degrees. 60, 60, 60, that's an equilateral triangle. 
7x minus 3 equals 60. Solve for x. x equals 9. So your homework is the next pages that follow because I put a PDF of four pages up there. So I'll stop the recording. <laughs>